Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and if you are a Gboard user on a Samsung Galaxy device, and sometimes you just wish you could have some of the latest Samsung Galaxy features on Gboard, more specifically, maybe some of the Galaxy AI features, that has finally happened here on the Galaxy S25 series. Now, I don't know when this would be maybe added into more devices, maybe when the official launch of Samsung One UI 7.0 gets pushed out. But if you are a Gboard user and you are always curious or wished you were able to use the writing tools from Samsung, they are now included. Now, there's only one little small step that you have to do in order for you to get this little icon right there, but I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Now, in order to enable or get Gboard, basically, you have to go to the Play Store and you can hit on download download for Gboard. It's basically the, the keyboard that's used on Google Pixel devices. So it's a keyboard made by Google. Uh, also, I believe it's just pre-installed anyways on the Galaxy S25 series. You just have to go through and enable it. And once you have it enabled, then you're able to select it to be one of the keyboards to use. And it's basically just a input option that you have to select. Now that you've done that, let's just state that maybe you wanted to use Gboard and have the Galaxy AI features of writing tools. Pretty much down over here, you'll see this little voice input. So you press and hold on this voice input and you go back to this regular input method. So this is maybe something that you're used to seeing. And this is that little, little keyboard looking icon. Basically, this is where you can change which keyboard you are using or if you wanna use like Google Voice typing. So pretty much once you have opened this spot, you select the option for Gboard and now you have your Gboard that is just right here that you're able to use. Now, if you press and hold on this, you can't bring it back to your voice input because on the Gboard, it's just right there. Now, all you'd have to do to use writing tools is you press and hold on the said sentence or a paragraph, and once you highlight it, then you now have the writing tools icon. So you're not gonna have the writing tools on the keyboard itself, who knows, maybe they will add that in too since they are working very closely together. But now you at least have it, you tap on it, and it's gonna work pretty much the exact same way. All right, so now that you have written or spoke some things, so this is probably not in the best grammar, it's not in the best whatever, I can completely change how this is going to be sent. So again, you just basically highlight it all. You go to your little writing tools icon. This is where you go to spelling and grammar. So now that you've selected spelling and grammar, you're gonna see all of the updates and changes that is underlined blue. So right here it says, hey man, comma, because up there I didn't have the comma. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, so I, they put in a question mark rather than the period. And then they highlight or uh, they, they uppercase uh, Super Bowl, uppercase Super Bowl there again. Uh, and then I didn't, you know, fi you know, finish with any type of punctuation. So this is where you just be able to replace it. So now it's been replaced. The next thing that you'd be able to do is maybe you wanted to completely change, you know, how this is also uh, written out. So you could change like the writing style. So if you want it to be professional, colleagues, what are your plans for tomorrow, particularly regarding Super Bowl Sunday? What are your recommendations for suitable Super Bowl food and snacks and what venue would you suggest? So that is professional. Definitely does not sound like me. Hey, buddy, what you doing tomorrow? Maybe for the Super Bowl, what's good to eat and where should we go? So it's kind of very casual. You have the social. So you have all of these here that you're able to choose. You can hit on the back. And then you also have the option for summarize and really there's probably not much here to summarize. It's pretty small already. So yeah, you have to have at least 200 characters to summarize something. You can also create a bullet point, but again, that also has to be uh, at least 200 characters as well. So if you're trying to figure out what you're, you know, maybe what I'm gonna talk about with maybe the next Samsung video and I'm writing down all these different ideas, it'll bullet point it for me. Now, when it comes down to the composer, this one just needs 125 characters. Uh, so pretty much with this one, you're just kind of giving a thought or idea. So maybe uh, I'm gonna go with upcoming YouTube video, Galaxy S25 Ultra best features, talk about sliding zoom, talk about voice dialogue boost and hidden features. So it almost got all the way there. I'm just gonna go through and hit on compose and we're gonna see what this thing comes out to. And you know, you can also do something like that a little bit longer and you could probably do it inside of your notes and then you'd be able to use like bullet point and summarize and a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're just kind of rambling off a few things of what you wanna do, uh, this would be able to you know compose it, um, but also uh, help you summarize and bullet point. So prepare to be amazed by the groundbreaking features of the newest phone. This video will delve into the innovation, sliding zoom functionality, enhancing your photographic experience. 
Uh, discover the clarity and power of the voice dialogue boost, revolutionizing your audio. Uncover hidden features that will perform how you use your device. Join us for an in-depth look at this cutting-edge technology. So it's kind of cool that they made sure that they knew I was talking about hidden features and not just hidden feet. Uh, even though, I guess, F-E-A-T is short for feature. But anyways, so you also have the option on the top where you can either set the length for either standard or detailed, and then you can just hit X and then you're completely out. Now, another fun one to take a look at is table. So this one's actually pretty fun. It'll kind of organize things in a different format. So, you know, I, I could have like maybe some speech or some type of dialogue that's being used from one person and maybe speech or dialogue from another person. And it would actually break it all down from, you know, uh, you know, voice one, voice two, and then that's pretty much, you know, what they are stating. Uh, this one's breaking it down as in uh, topics and questions. So what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing for the Super Bowl? Uh, what are some good food or snacks to eat for the Super Bowl? Uh, where should we go? So it kind of breaks it all down. And again, if there was more categories that it would need, it would actually create those categories for you. So pretty much this is everything that I wanted to share with you. So if you are kind of missing out on some of the features that Samsung has, especially when it comes to Gal you know, Galaxy AI or writing tools, once you write something out, just highlight it all. And then this is where you have your little uh, writing tools icon to where you can do all of these really cool tools. So I would say definitely come around and play with this. Uh, if you've never used it before, I, I can probably guarantee that you're going to find some use for it. It is pretty sweet. Uh, you do also have settings that's right up over here. So this will kind of give you a little bit of details of what uh, the writing assist is able to do. And if you don't want anything to be done through, uh, you know, uh, going through the cloud, you can just have everything process specifically on the device. But if you want something to actually give you more details, better details, uh, better results, you might as well just use the cloud service because they're able to actually do a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, you can actually have it all process on your device only. So again, how to get this thing all activated. Once you enabled Gboard, you selected it as an option for input. What you're going to notice down over here, uh, this is, uh, as of right now, we're just inside of Gboard, but this is what you'll probably see. This is your Samsung keyboard. I'm going to change this back over to voice input. This is what you will start with. Once you are here, you will press and hold, change it to the input method. Then this is where you go inside of your Gboard and that little voice thingy is gonna be right there in the keyboard rather than down here on the very bottom left-hand side. And that's everything that I wanted to share with you in today's video. Some people may have caught it, some people may not have caught it, but if you are a Gboard user, you now have some of the Galaxy AI features. More specifically, you have all of the writing tools. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,